let's create a poster that looks like a black light poster. I'm gonna click this template here, this blank Kittle template, and I'm gonna click on the background color, and I'm gonna make this black to start. It's very easy to do. Now I'm gonna go over here to elements on the left-hand side, and I'm going to type in under the search window, I'm gonna type in mushroom. That's gonna give me back a few different designs here. Now some of them you can change the color on and some of them you can't. So I'm going to show you first of all the ones you can't. This one here is more of a photograph and when I click on it you'll notice there's no color setting over on the right hand side so I don't want to use that one today. I'm going to click this one instead and then I'm going to make it quite a bit bigger, move it down here and you can see over on the right hand side there's object colors now that come up and they're the object colors that are inside this. So what I want to do here is click this and then I'm gonna change the blue, for example, to a very bright green. Then I'm gonna click the tan, and I'm gonna make that a very bright pink. I'm gonna click the green, and I'm gonna make that a very bright blue. So you can see very easily, you can create something that's looking pretty neon right out of the gates here. Now I'm gonna go up to the elements and I'm gonna type in abstract. And from here, I'm going to click something that looks, say, like that, some sort of an abstracty star design. And I'm going to make this quite a bit bigger. And then I'm just going to leave that in the background. Now, I, don't, I can't change the color on this one. So again, if you wanted to change the color, then you could pick another design. In this case, let me see if there's another one down here. How about this one? Now, this is black, so I'm just going to hover it over the mushroom here real quick. But you can see I can change the object color here. I'm going to make this bright red, for example. And then I can make this nice and big. In fact, I'm going to make it so big that it's going to be off the template. I'm going to right click it and I'm going to go flip to back. So now it's in the background in behind the mushroom. Now, if you don't know what to search for, that's okay too. Just over on the left, I'll just click elements and then I'm just going to go up to all and I'm just going to click show all. And you can just scroll on through and you can just see all the different ones that you've got. Now, there's a whole bunch of different options here. So you may you know, wind up having to narrow your search down a little tiny bit, but there's all sorts of cool abstract designs that you may not even think to search for. There's also ornaments, and you can scroll through ornaments as well, and you can find some really cool designs that are somewhat abstract. So, so for example here, rays is a good one. I've used this quite a bit. So I'm going to pick this one right here, and as you can see, you can change the object color on this as well. Now, if you want to change the object color to match an existing color, very easy to do. So I've clicked this this design, and then I'm going to click the object color, and then I'm going to click this little eyedropper tool, and then I'm just going to hover it over the pink, and it just makes it the exact same color now as the pink. So I'm going to make this now nice and big. I'm going to scroll this up to the top left. I'm going to grab another mushroom while we're at it here too. Okay, so here's a different mushroom. I'm going to put this down here. And I'm going to change these colors. The trick is you want to change the colors to very bright greens, reds, and blues. So anything that's a blue, I'm just going to make it quite a bit brighter. And I like using yellow as well. So again, you're just going to go into the color palette and just change these colors to make them a little more wacky and wild here. So all sorts of things you can search for here. I'm going to do waves and click on that. And then I'm going to throw this over in the corner. And it doesn't need to be huge. You can make lots of little tiny designs. In this case, I'm going to make this bright as well. Okay, and now comes the text. So I'm going to click the text option on the left-hand side. I'm going to click Add Headline. I don't necessarily need a logo in this case. I am just, just need text. So I'm going to click Add Headline. It's going to pop up right here in the middle, and it is black to start. I'm just going to double-click it, and I'm going to type in a word like groovy and highlight it all change my text color. Using my eyedropper tool, I'll make it pink to start. I don't know, I might change that in a bit. But I'm going to make this groovy. I'll make it nice and big. I'll shorten it up a little tiny bit and just move it over just like that. Yeah, I don't really like that color, so I'm going to click the text color and I'm going to make it blue. So just using the eyedropper tool, I'll just change it to blue. Now what you can do as well with the text designs, it's so cool. Over on the right, next to the text settings tab, there's another little tab with an A and a plus next to it. And this is the text effects. So what I can do here is I can change the way this looks just by simply clicking on the decoration 
button. So I really like that one, for example. And then you can also change the weight of the lines as well and the distance of the lines. So that's pretty cool. And then you can also change the way the oblique line looks. So I'm actually going to change that. Now this is a really neat feature. As you create your design, down on the bottom, the document palette shows you the existing colors already in the document. So rather than going through the eyedropper tool, which I could, I'm just simply going to go down here and click the pink and that will pop up with my color as well. If I wanted to change that, simply click on the color and then down I could change it to green. So I really like that. Now you can also do shading, which is a really nice feature as well. So I'm going to do the shading. I'm going to do the offset shading. I'm going to change the angle of it. And then I'm also going to change the color of the shading too. So the color of the shading, you could make it look all these different colors by simply clicking on the options here. So I'm going to click on the background shade. I'm going to make it red. Maybe I'll make it purple. Maybe I'll make it green. Who knows? There's all sorts of options here, but they all look fantastic. I love this. Okay, so there we go. Just like that. In a couple minutes, I made an absolutely spectacular black light style poster. And this would look great on a t-shirt, on a fine art print. If you wanted to remove the background, so let's say you wanted to put it on a black t-shirt, simply click the background. You'll see the background color comes up. It's black. And then just switch the opacity just by holding the down arrow button and just put it down to zero. Now you could put this on a black t-shirt and that would look fantastic too. The options really are limitless. I love Kittle. I'm going to put a link in the video description below to Kittle. Just a heads up, it is an affiliate link. And that means that if you sign up for the premium plan, I would receive a small commission. I highly recommend Kittle. I love it. It's so easy to use. As you saw in minutes, I created a professional looking design. Here's another video on how you can supercharge your print on demand in crafting world with Kittle. Thanks a lot for watching.